we got, we were going to do a different video talking about like our weekly concerns, but we just got news um, the other day that's really stupid and concerning. We're just going to go over this really quick and then give our opinions about it and everything else. Yeah, because it's, it's really ridiculous. This was from the Ohio gun owners. So I'll go ahead and just throw this out there really quick. The Republican House Speaker Bob Cup just ran a bill through the House that gives gun control organizations free reign to indoctrinate kids right into our schools and you are paying for it. So basically what they're trying to do is have gun control organizations come to school and beat it in their heads that guns are bad and that guns kill people, not people. This gun that I have right here doesn't pull a trigger by itself. So if it does, you need to let me know because uh, that'd be pretty cool, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, they don't this load themselves, amazing, they don't cock themselves back, and they don't pull the trigger by themselves. You know, this is the this is the left's propaganda push on on everybody. That it's basically the uh, the culture war on the Western yeah, civilization. Uh, and it's ridiculous. And it makes me it makes me sick because now these generation of kids that are in school right now, in high school, middle school, they're gonna have these groups. Well the groups are gonna now have authorization to come in and just push all this bad propaganda that guns are terrible. Now we got a partial presidential candidate. Joe Biden, that may possibly win the election. We don't know what's going to happen there. By the way, this is week, about to be week three or week four of the election. Yeah. This is actually it's about going to be long. week four. And um, everybody's getting tired of it. I'm getting tired of it. Um, we don't know who's going to win. You know, I did that. Yeah. Like I, we were talking is. about earlier, um, supposedly they're going to be going to the Supreme Court, and they just said the other day, they came out in a news conference and said they have all this evidence. Uh, Sidney Powell, Trump's main lawyer, along with uh, Rudy Giuliani. Um, you know, either way, what we've had under the Trump administration, honestly, has not necessarily been great for the Second Amendment. No, not really. But it also is, is not going to be nowhere near as bad as what Biden administration would be. Yeah. Um, because this is happening on a state level. Just imagine federal, what Joe Biden wants to do. We already know basically what he wants to do in online sale of any, any gun online, any ammo online. Um, he wants to regulate what's out there already under the NFA, make you pay a tax stamp, make you register your gun, um, red flag laws, mandatory buybacks. It's a mess. Is a massive. It's a, it's a disaster. It's horrible. It's horrible news for the Second Amendment. That's why if he if he does get in, it's a problem. But this right here is just unacceptable. Well, the, the, the problem that we have is the background check system is outdated severely. The FBI, when they go through it, there's a lot of problems when they do that. The main thing is right now, and you'll have a lot of people agree with this, I agree with it. We don't have a gun problem in the US. There's a mental health problem, clearly. Yeah. There's a mental health problem. If, if we could vent or vet out, do vetting of people in a way that doesn't infringe on it, the average person's rights every day, that's what, would, that's what needs to happen. But it shouldn't infringe on anybody's rights, period. You should not have to be you, don't, you shouldn't have to go through this major, major process when you go to the gun store. You should be able to go to the gun store 20 minutes later and come out with a gun, just like everywhere else. Obviously, the system isn't perfect, but the problem is we have all these smart people in the world. We have all these smart people in the government. Now, when I bought this gun, how long was we in there for? How Maybe 20 time? minutes. That wasn't too bad. They ask you a whole bunch of questions and... You know, anybody can answer no on the questions you probably, you know. Right. Are you, Either way, they're going to find out. Well, yeah. You know, but you, still. It's an official government. You know, it's safer. I don't know. I think they should make it a little bit different. But like you said, it shouldn't be 
It, it shouldn't it's be a long process. That's right. true. It shouldn't take forever to buy. You got gun. places like California where, um, or maybe California. Somebody will have to fact check this. I'm pretty sure because they are the most communistic state in the U.S. right now. When you buy a gun there, you actually have to wait like months or something. There's a state I can't remember. There's a state where you have to actually wait months to get your gun. When you go in and buy it, it's like, oh, okay, we'll call you in a couple months. <laughs> What's the point of that? Like, you need it now, not two months down the road. You might need <laughs> it then. You're going to need it. It's better to have it and not need it than to not have it and need it. So basically, that's kind of just ruining the whole point of even buying one in that state. So whatever state that is, I have no idea. Yeah. It's kind of ridiculous. This right here is a problem, though. This right here is a problem. We've seen already what DeWine, our governor, Mike DeWine, uh, is doing with the, uh, the coronavirus yeah. lockdowns. <laughs> I don't even want to go there. That's ridiculous. Very it, unconstitutional. It's not even going to work. For one, the police officers are not going to enforce it. Our sheriff has already said they're not enforcing it. It's just Multiple a, sheriffs have said they're not enforcing it. The BS um, order that he has set up to try and slow down the spread, but it's already out of control. There's no way you're going to slow it down. We slowed it down back in early summertime and it's not going to happen again. It's not. No. Like, the county that we're in, they've gained over 100 confirmed cases within a day and that's not counting the ones that they don't know that are out there. So Right. It's not going to slow down at this point. I think that everybody is eventually going to get it. It's not as bad as they're making it out to be. Yes, there has been people that have died from it. Such as health, being, health problems and people that are already in a high risk. Yeah. People age. that are older, people that have, you know, asthma or right. whatever right. else is wrong with them. But I'm I've known three people that have had it already and they said it's basically, you know, kind of like the flu. Yeah, I've heard the same thing. It's hard. You got severe headaches. We can't we can't you know, we're just telling you what we're what we've heard. They've had severe headaches. They can't taste or smell. That's kind of just like the flu. Coughing, and shortness coughing, of breath. You know, your typical flu symptoms. And I also talked to two people out of the three people that I know that had it. They have not been contagious. They've been around people that, you know, when they found out that they were positive for the virus, they were around other people and they never got it. So it affects everybody different. Here's, here's why you, every Ohioan and every American should worry about stuff like this right now. Where they are telling uh, the the state literally just passed a law that says, and we know that Mike DeWine is going to sign it because he's a rhino in terms of politics. He's a fake Republican. Uh, I, I don't want to make this about left or right, but it's obvious that the left has started the war on firearms. And it's obviously a building block and a major part of American history. We wouldn't have an America without firearms. Yeah, we had, exactly. You know, you know we, we, we took up arms against the greatest empire that ever existed in the world because we were over their shit. Just, it is, all of it just rubs you the wrong way. The, and the state gave authorization to these gun control groups to go into school and drill this into kids' heads that don't know any better. And I'll add one more thing in there before we wrap this up here shortly. Um, the thing with concealed carry is they're making it very hard to get it nowadays, especially, you know, back in March is when we got our certificate, okay? And then towards the end of summer, July, August, we we uh, were going to go get our permits, right? And they were making it really hard to uh, even get a permit, and it's quite ridiculous. At some point in time, they're eventually not going to let you get it at all. That's what I feel like is coming. I don't know about you, but that's yep. how I feel. I agree. Because they, he tried to go. I tried to go, and I was actually not denied, but they lied. They lied. They to said straight to my face. They made an appointment the exact day, I had an exact, exact day. time to come, and he shows up, and they say that the woman there that does it is not even there. She's not there. Week. She's off that day. Well, so I showed you know my notes that I had on my phone. I said, well, if she told me it was this day, this time to come in. I wouldn't have drove forty five miles. For no reason. And they then, so we went, and found like another, we went and found another place that no issues at all, in and out, maybe 20 minutes. 
maybe a half hour. Yeah, this is also a county uh, that I won't mention that I, where I had trouble. This is also a county that is enforcing the coronavirus. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah you said that somebody got arrested for not wearing a mask, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody had, was arrested for not wearing a mask in the Walmart. Um, there's a little bit more to the story, but they were asked to leave, and they didn't leave, and so they were arrested. And that's where they get you. Now, They're not arresting you for not wearing a mask. They're trying to arrest you for trespassing. Now you're trespassing because we asked you to leave, and you don't leave. So basically, and, they're dragging they're gonna it out. To leave over and off they're going to drag it out so they can ask you to leave and then get you arrested because you're technically trespassing. Yep. If they ask you to, that's the that's the bad part. And the way I see it is, you know, when you go out in public, not everybody remembers to bring a mask. So if you're going to bitch at them for not wearing a mask, why not provide one? They don't cost very much, you know. Most companies actually should. Provide provide that anyways to employees yep. so they can provide it to customers as well now another thing too um, with this right here like I said before if you got kids right now or if you got kids in high school middle school regardless this should worry you especially if you're a, a gun person you know like us or been raised around guns your whole life uh, this has to do a lot with what they are trying to teach in our schools now they are trying to teach that America is a bad country. America is a racist country. America, um, our founding fathers were bad people because some of them were slave owners and they were really horrible people. You know, that. that's why so many of these kids nowadays are out causing nothing but problems because they think that our country is bad. You know, and it really, really upsets me that they're teaching this in school. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Trump talked about it a while ago. There's something that they're actually doing right now in school, the name of it. Um, yeah, they're well, teaching these kids some bad stuff. Up. Yeah. That out. It, they're trying to rewrite history and make it seem like the United States is the we're one of the worst countries in the world and uh, we need to change. We gotta change to, to socialism, individual liberties and freedom. No. But so, this is the problem right here. You guys should be worrying about this. I'm interested to see more about it. I'm going to be, we're going to be both trying to uh, figure out more about this. I, I, I hope if it does happen that it doesn't happen very often. But I can already, I can already see it now. These these groups that just hate guns are going to come into school and call all the kids in to. Uh, auditoriums or whatever yeah. and give now, speeches another thing about sure. guns in schools right there's actually I don't know if it's around here but I know in Texas they actually allow teachers and staff to carry yeah so if they're going to do that then why would they even bring in these control groups these <laughs> gun control groups and say all this stuff that's the Democrats man yeah but they're they're crazy Absolutely I think that's Every school in the country should allow, you know, teachers to carry firearms. Yeah. Absolutely, um, they've got armed any teachers. Can happen at any certain time. There's yep. actually been a video. I don't know if there's a video that I've seen or it's just an article that a teacher had a you know a gun at his desk, and somebody came in there and they, you know, they stopped it. So I'll have to look that up, but I can't remember what school it is, or what state it's in. But good guys with guns stop bad guys with guns. Exactly, it's just how it is. Whether so, the lawmakers want to agree with that or not, a lot of them will tell you, no, that's not true. Well, it is true. It's very true, which is why states with constitutional carry have like 75% decreased crime because if you're a criminal, you're not just going to go out and mess with somebody if you know that they might have a gun on them in a state which says you don't need permission from the government to carry a gun, which is how it should be everywhere. There should be a federal law that says that across all 50 states, but there's this raging war with the left and the right right now. We don't know if it's ever gonna happen. We need more people, more patriots, more conservatives. More people to stand to up stand and say up something about it. And do, do something, something about it. Run for office, do something. So, so I that's our main concern right I now. I figured that'll be, um, you know, more stuff to talk about that in the future. Yeah, so. Stay up to date. Make sure you guys join the Firearms Policy Coalition. And make sure you join the Gun Owners of America. That's they are the best out there. The NRA, 
don't even think about it. They're a sellout. They want to sell your rights away to the Democrats and fake Republicans. So make sure you guys join. Uh, I will put a the links of the links in the, the description for you guys to click on and join. So we'll catch you in the next one. We'll see you guys next week.